This video digs into how we designed and positioned the kitchen cabinets to bring much more usable space and natural light into a kitchen in the middle of an 1830s antique home. You can find several other videos about the kitchen renovation on this channel. For this renovation, we really wanted to open up the small doorway and bulky overhead cabinets into the room at the front of the house, where there are large windows and 10 foot high ceilings. Doing this would also give us much better traffic flow and sight lines around the entire house. But maximizing this opening meant compressing everything we needed on the remaining wall a refrigerator freezer, a replacement for the old gas range, and excellent overhead ventilation. We found a set of Miele appliances that worked perfectly in this space. Starting with a 30 inch wide counter depth refrigerator freezer. It has zero clearance hinges that allow the door to open up right next to the wall without any additional clearance. This is an amazingly efficient design. We could then wrap the fridge with a clean and compact cabinet around the unit. So right off the bat, we saved six inches over a typical 36 inch fridge. The next item along this wall is a base cabinet that houses a Miele wall oven mounted under the countertop and then on top an induction cooktop. Having a cabinet instead of a freestanding range gives us the opportunity to add storage around the units. So there's the pull out for cutting boards on the side and a toe kick drawer underneath for storing baking sheets. Since the counter space around the cooktop is pretty limited, we added a pull-out cutting board that is a quick way to add some more work surface. The induction cooktop here is something we like a lot. It's incredibly powerful and very, very easy to clean up, and it can be pressed into service as additional workspace. Above the cooktop, we have a very strong ventilation system with task lighting. We got some great advice about how to design the cabinetry here. And that was to echo some of the design we could see in other parts of the house. So here, the fireplace mantle bumps out into the room and is wrapped in crown molding. And that same visual is apparent in this other fireplace mantle in the adjoining room. So we built a simple cabinet painted the same color as the wall to house the ventilation hood instead of introducing a new design element. It's painted the same color as the wall, but using a heavy duty oil-based paint, perfect for cabinetry. The hood vents to the outdoors, which is ideal. We were able to run the ductwork in the joist up above. The Miele hood gives you the option to vent straight up or to vent back. We actually turn the unit around 180 degrees to get it to vent back into the kitchen to an elbow that could climb up to the duct location. There's now a very short duct run to the outside. This equipment and approach gave us excellent ventilation and used the available space very efficiently. There's also a storage cabinet over the fridge and this is accessed using a vertical lift hinge. It's a nice place to keep bulky items that you don't use every day.
There's a marble backsplash covering the entire wall behind the cooking area. This is a nice way to see the material. Also note that it is set to come to a very precise point along the molding profile. So it's a very finished look in this area. As you stand at the oven and cooktop, you have easy access to a couple of drawers right behind you. The skinnier drawer up top holds utensils and down below there are spices, flour, sugar, etc. The next base cabinet houses the sink, dishwasher, and trash. It's designed to look like a very simple cabinet with an old-fashioned copper sink. There's a Miele dishwasher concealed behind cabinetry to the right of the sink. And then over on the left-hand side, there's a drawer. This houses a knife holder that was made from some of the reclaimed heart pine used on the kitchen floor. There's a pull-out trash can and recycle bin. And then beneath that, a toe-kick drawer that we use to hold replacement kitchen trash bags. This cabinet is set up with an undermount copper sink and an antique style brass tap. The marble countertop is wrapped with a backsplash on two sides and was built so that the vein continues across the surface of the countertop and then up the side of the backsplash. There's an OG molding profile carved into the top of the backsplash and that continues across to the wooden backsplash behind the breakfast bar. This was just a nice way to tie these two elements together visually. The center island is the focal point of the kitchen. It provides a lot of workspace, storage, and since you can get to it from every side, is a great gathering space. Here's a magazine photo that inspired us to sketch out our island. And the cabinet maker used this to really detail a plan that worked in our space. In addition to the large drawers on each end, there's an open storage area in the center that's concealed by a sliding panel. There's a very discreet GFI outlet tucked away on each side of the island. The long edge of the island is lined up with the cased opening. The island extends into the back room to the midpoint of the window. We added a breakfast bar that floats in front of one of the large windows, resting on a couple of corbels. It's nice to have this additional counter space and you can see it doesn't block any of the daylight from the southern facing window. This breakfast bar was made with material that we salvaged during the renovation. When we opened up the brick wall, between the kitchen and the front room to create the wider cased opening, we found that there were some great timbers framing that smaller doorway. We definitely wanted to find a way to reuse this material elsewhere in the kitchen renovation. And it turns out that making the corbels for the breakfast bar was a perfect application. Each corbel was cut out of this three inch thick material and then attached to the window casing using trim head screws that are really quite invisible.
this door casing was removed and stripped and used to make the surface of the breakfast bar. It's nice to see this beautiful material that had been hidden for years put to a brand new use. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos about this kitchen renovation on this YouTube channel.